Nippon Ichi Software presents... Welcome to Let's Play Disgaea 6. My name is Karsten. I have played uh, most of the other Disgaea games. I've even uh, recorded a couple of them on my channel. And this one is coming out, well, I think in a day or two, but I, it arrived early, so... Not sure when I'll get the video up, but hopefully within at least the time that it uh, gets released. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and get going here. I did go into settings. Make sure I want cursor mode B. Uh, combat move speed fast. Tech speed super. Whoop. And tech speed super. I think I'll leave everything else as is actually. I think it'll play new effects at least once. So we'll do that. At least that's what the previous games did, I believe. So let's get going. The emergence of a new god of destruction, the strongest ever recorded, carries death and disaster in its wake. It appears out of nowhere, with no discernible pattern or reason for its atrocities. Countless worlds and innumerable demons have been reduced to nothingness by its sheer power. None can oppose this god of destruction. Nothing exists that it cannot destroy. However, no one yet knows that this god of destruction has already been defeated. Hey Cerberus, this is the place, right? Zed, zombie, a zombie boy with a piercing gaze, appears to be more than meets the eye. Yep, no doubt about it. I can smell it in the air. This place reeks of concentrated magic power. Cerberus, classification, zombie, dog. Zed's companion, bandit fighting, but makes up for it everywhere else. <laughs> you serious? I can't imagine you'd be able to sniff anything out with that rotten nose of yours. Hey, you're rotten too, you know. Damn, there are guards at the gate. Guess they beefed up security with all the big wigs of this darkest assembly. Zed and Cerberus were surrounded by extraordinarily powerful guards. Estimated magic level 999. Aren't you gonna let us in? It's awfully rude to stop the guests of honor. You're wasting your breath, as bad as it is. We just gotta plow right through them! Forcing your way in, headlong into danger. You're as hot blooded as ever. Huh, I don't even have blood, being a zombie and all. Now, Zed, has that rotten brain of yours forgotten how to fight? Or do you still remember your roots? Uh, tutorials tend to be amusing. Let's go with this. Who the hell do you think I am, you dumb mutt? No one forgets things faster than me. Is that really something to brag about? Well, I suppose it was inevitable. Let's go over the basics, then. First, place the cursor over a character on the field and press the A button. Command options will appear upon doing so. Select move to get closer to an enemy. Alright, I can send him flying any time now. Hmm, in that case, select attack next. 
Uh, and just so you know, most characters fit on just one panel, but there are some larger characters who take up five. You can't move past the five panels those characters take up, but you can deal damage to any of the occupied panels. So those guys are easier to attack because they're bigger target, huh? <laughs> All right. Once you select an attack, bring up the menu with the X button and select in turn. You'll then proceed with your attack. Now, go and show them how strong you really are. are so pathetic this is nothing all right said it's your turn again why don't you use your ultimate technique on them next got it I'm gonna show these punks that even zombies can get strong enough to kick butt the basics here are the same get close to an enemy with move Select special skills next. Depending on the skill, you may be able to attack distant or multiple enemies. Now it's time to suck it to them. As flashy as you can, if you please. nothing on me. These little level 999s aren't anywhere near strong enough to face me. Hmm, well, you certainly do seem to remember how to fight. Further commands, such as using the LR buttons to turn the camera, you should check the bottom of the screen. Alright. Good. Cursor movement is how I want. Go over here. Actually... Go here. Attacks are effective. Let's see. Let's use this. That hits. All of them face that way. Ah, okay. Guess I will need to turn effects on because we should have seen that. <laughs> These are the best they could get to guard the darkest assembly. They're nothing special. I think you've just gotten way too strong, Zed. 
But you know, you've really changed. Not that long ago, you were all... <laughs> die, die, die! Or stupid dumbass, it's your own damn fault for losing! You really were a foul mouth, little brat. Huh? I've got no idea what you're talking about. My brain's so rotten, I already forgot. It's almost like you overcame some kind of life-changing tragedy. Can it, you damn mutt? Ever heard of not being an asshole? You should try it sometime. Ah, my mistake. Anyway, look! There it is. The darkest assembly. Is there still no information on the whereabouts of the new god of destruction? Overlord Ivar, classification Overlord, self-proclaimed strongest and most important Overlord in the universe. It's been several days since it was last sighted. It's never been this long without destroying anything. Where did it go? What is it up to? Want me to tell you? Huh. Who do you think you are? Can't you see we're in the middle of the darkest assembly? My word! What in Hades' name are those worthless guards doing? Like such a disheveled zombie wandering here. Oh, those guys are out like a light. Probably enjoying a good old nightmare right about now. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. As if the likes of you could ever take out those level 999 gu- A flustered demon rushed up to Overlord Ivar and whispered something into his ear. What? All of the guards? Taken out? You... Just who or what are you exactly? Well, you know that god of destruction you're so worried about? You can relax. I defeated it. What? You... A worthless zombie defeated that god of destruction? What? <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe that some nobody like you could defeat the strongest one ever? Yeah, well, this nobody just defeated your level 999 guards. How do you explain that? You obviously had some sort of trick up your sleeve. Leave it to Rabble to resort to nefarious means. I, Overlord Ivar, along with the demons who have gathered at this darkest assembly, will expose your lies! Should it become evident that your claim of defeating the God of Destruction is a lie, you will immediately be put to death. You are going to execute me? <laughs> what a joke. How dare you! For a pathetic zombie, you're quite full of yourself. Right. I am just a zombie. And you're about to find out how this pathetic zombie managed to defeat the strongest god of destruction. So listen up. Episode 1. The Dramaturgy of Reincarnation. Zed. Hey! How much longer are you planning on sleeping? Come on! Rise and shine, Zed! You're finally up! Lucky you! I was about to take a leak on your face. No, scratch that. I feel a dump coming on. Ugh, that's disgusting, you damn dirty mutt! Can't you find a normal way to wake someone up? I already tried kicking you, gnawing on you, reheating you, even dicing and grating you, but nothing worked. Just what do you think I am? A rotten slab of meat. Takes one to know one. Whatever. So, where is that thing? Where else? In the middle of destroying stuff. Now this area is just a lawless zone full of rampaging demons. That's so? All right, let's go take it down. 
Hold on, Zed. You're about to fight the strongest known god of destruction. You better get prepared first. Welcome, Zed, to the fourth dimensional netherworld. Fourth dimensional netherworld? That's what I said. This place will serve as a secret base of sorts in our quest to defeat the god of destruction. I'll explain it in its entirely over time, but for now, I'll just unlock the general store to start. It'll prove indispensable in taking down the god of destruction. Make sure to buy equipment for your allies as well. Eh, allies? Ain't got any. I don't need them either. I'm afraid I can't agree with that. I'm taking the liberty of mustering up a few based on my subjective arbitrary biases. <sighs> like I asked. No complaining. We must take any and every step we can to defeat the God of Destruction. Once you're prepared, your next stop will be the battlefield. The Dimension Guide can show you the way. So, gear up at the General Store and get to the next fight from the Dimension Guide. Got it? Alright. I'm going to go into settings, I think. I'm going to turn that down. How many times does this make that we've faced the God of Destruction? A million? More, perhaps? Beats me. Who bothers keeping track of how many times they die? Well, there was that one time he ran off for the God of Destruction before face planting dead into the ground. Did I really? I don't remember that. Then there was the time we lost when the God of Destruction coughed on us. Who would expect to get blown so far by a light hack? Not us, evidently. Doesn't ring a bell. Besides, that's all in the past for me anyway. Then there was the time after that, it was a sneeze. And the time after that... Hey, reminisce all you want, but don't even think about bringing up the fart, you hear me? My bad, my bad, just a slip of the tongue is all. Wait a minute, so you do remember the fart then? How could I not? That gas cloud seared itself right into my rotten brain. Now it haunts my dreams. Ugh. My condolences. Still, compared to back then, you've grown so much I can hardly recognize you. Damn straight. I don't give a crap why or how many times I've ended up losing. Long as I beat that thing in the end, that's what counts. And until I do, I'll rise and fall as many times as it takes. So we've got the... Uh, Quiet slow song with singing like we did in uh, Disgaea 5. Welcome to the Rosen Queen Company. We've got weapons, armor, items, everything a good adventurer could need. Which weapons you're looking for, make sure to check which types of character prefers before hitting that buy button. don't really have that much that's interesting that has more res that has more int that's more res that has more def okay Just so that I have something there. Thank you very much. Check our characters here. And Donatello, Mark, and Amelia. All right. Okay, yeah, we want you with that one. Not 
not sure if I want you with a bow. I might prefer you with the wand so you can better heal. Damage dealt by 1% for super reincarnation. Simultaneously one time, okay. Uh, sure. Okay. all. sure what those things I got are because they're not showing up under items. Alright, well let's uh, go talk to Meaver and get our... wait, hang on, hang on. Chests. There should be chests. Three chests per chapter. Welcome to the cheat shop. Okay. Can we adjust anything yet? See how much can we adjust? Ten percent. Auto-battling items will be sold for the regular 100 price, okay. Item points, okay. Interesting. I guess if you set up auto-battle and repeat, being able to auto-sell would be useful.
Why are there no chests to pick up? Every other Disgaea game, there's three chests in every chapter. I am disappoint. All right, well, let's get going. Oh, a land of prinnies. We're fighting prinnies to start with. What a surprise. Penguin, I don't give a crap about your problems. I'm not a penguin. I'm a pretty dude. Allow us to explain. Prinnies are the peons of the netherworld. Each of them contains the soul of a sinful human. Together, prinnies and zombies form the bottom rung of the netherworld. So, what's a prinny want from me? Hmm, I guess it has something to do with all the demons that started rioting when the God of Destruction showed up. Th that's absolutely right, dude! <laughs> Same as always. Same as always? Uh, who exactly are you guys, dude? <laughs> These guys... Right. Witnessing the God of Destruction's immense power drove these demons mad. Here we go again. I don't care who they are. If they stand in our way, I'll kill them! Oh, we're not fighting prinnies. Uh, one moment said, out of curiosity, do you happen to have a plan by any chance? Nope, I'm just gonna send anyone that gets in my way flying. That's all the plan I need. I thought so. If that's the case, you'll end up being torn apart, limb from limb, like always. Eh, whatever, I'm a zombie. It's not like I'm not used to it. Enough with the tough act said. In order to achieve victory, you must coordinate with your allies. Coordinate with my allies? Yes, having allies will allow you to pull off team attacks and combos whenever you want, increasing your tactical options. Hmm, team attacks and combos, huh? Oh, the tutorials are always amusing here. Let's watch. You've forgotten those as well? Fine, I'll explain. First, move the cursor and select the base panel. After doing so, you'll see a list of deployable units. Who will you send out? Uh, me, duh. I'll blow them to pieces. Now, here's the important part. Deploy some other allies besides yourself. If you execute an attack while an ally is within two panels of the attacking unit, you can pull off a team attack. Other allies will still be able to move, so you should choose execute instead of end turn. gonna gang up on him and beat him to a pulp? That's not a bad idea. Such is the essence of team attacks. Up to 10 units can attack at once. The more units attacking, the higher the damage count. This isn't limited to just normal attacks either. This can happen with special skills too, increasing the damage just the same. Thank you. 
expected. This is the end! There! I get it now. You're saying that it'll hit harder than just your own on your own, huh? Precisely. Now, let's try out combos. As you can see, attacking with a, a particular enemy unit consecutively will trigger a combo. Its power will increase with a number of hits. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can't do that alone. Now, to finish things off by pulling all three of these together. Special attacks, team attacks, and combos. Ready to get started. Hmm, very well. Then it's time to select execute. Once all of your allies have moved, press the X button and select in turn. By putting what I've taught to use, you'll deal out damage more efficiently, paving yourself a shortcut to victory. Alright, I'll use this team attack and combo stuff to beat down everyone in my way. Guess I will put the bow on you for the moment. Let's go back into settings. Just normal and skip, no option for... Yeah. Mm. We'll leave it at that for the moment. 
that way, you just face that way, and we'll in turn. Let's just do that to start with. Alright, that wasn't too bad. for the character who took out the most units. Price for the character who dealt the single highest number of damage. Okay. supposed to be this powerful, dude! Huh, what's the big deal? After all, compared to the God of Destruction, these guys are garbage. Um, you're falling apart at the seams. Are you sure you're okay, dude? Huh? Ah, don't sweat the small stuff. You definitely aren't normal, dude. Word, Zed. The Netherworld Hospital is now available for use. I'll be upfront about this. In no way is any matter of me medical treatment or care handled there. It's not? What the hell kind of hospital is it supposed to be then? Well, that's for you to find out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because I'm already healed up. Oh, here to claim your prizes? Don't let the name fool you. We don't do much treatment here. Give it more as a prize exchange where you can earn amazing rewards for how much HP and SP you exhaust in battle. Why do you get prizes for that, you ask? Well, this is the Netherworld. You use your imagination. Alright, sorry for the dog barking in the background and uh guess that's all we can do for the moment come back anytime well i think we will take a break here anyway i hope you have enjoyed if so likes and comments always very much appreciated subscribe for more if you haven't already thanks for watching and have a nice day <laughs>